Hey guys! So today I'm super excited to share with you a haul video. This is a whole bunch of stuff that I have accumulated over time. I've got some MAC products, I've got some NARS products, and I've also got an order from Nigel's Beauty Emporium, which is kind of like a makeup artist supply type shop in Hollywood. So yeah, I can't wait to show you guys everything. It's kind of a lot, so be prepared. We're going to get through it, and let's get started. I'm going to start off with my NARS stuff. Now NARS at Nordstrom, they were having a gift with purchase going on. Um, if you spent a certain amount, then you got a certain you know product. So I was all over that because you guys know how I love my NARS. Here are the products that I got. First off, I got my NARS um, Gentle Cream Cleanser. I love, love, love this stuff. I'm almost out, so I was like, I gotta restock on this stuff. It's a great cleanser for all skin types. Oily, dry, and all seasons. Great in the Clarisonic. Love this stuff. I also got the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in... Anna Perna. This stuff is great because it has an SPF 30 in it, so it's really great for the summertime. Gives similar coverage to, I'd say, like the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Really, really creamy, really easy to apply. I use my fingers with this stuff. I'm wearing it today um, with just some concealer and powder. It gives me like the perfect amount of coverage. It's also great because it has the SPF 30 in it. Ideal for the summertime or really any time of the year, but mostly ideal for the summertime. From NARS, I also got the Pro Prime Pore Refining Primer. Now, I was supposed to get the one with the SPF 30 in it. I actually already own this one, that's alright. I love this stuff, but I wanted the SPF 30. No big deal. I just had to kind of readjust some things because my camera died because um, of the battery. But anyways, alright, so the next thing I purchased from NARS was a couple of their satin lip pencils. Now, I'm super excited about these because they're that perfect mixture of their glossy lip pencils and velvet lip pencils. The two colors I got are U, which is just Y-U, so that's an interesting name. Beautiful pinky color here. I actually already have a swatch on my hand. Let's see if I can get a nice close-up here. Beautiful, beautiful pinky color there. And then the other color I got that you guys probably saw just on my hand was the... Palais Royale? I don't know. Or Royal? I don't know. But it's a beautiful plummy burgundy color. Totally colors I would wear. So excited about these. I think I need to purchase the NARS sharpener though because all my other sharpeners are kind of shredding my um, NARS pencils to bits. So I'm like, uh. Next, all the stuff I got from NARS is from the gift with purchase. I got the Orgasm Illuminator and this is just the one in the squeezy tube. I think this one is the mini mini version, but um, this is pretty big for the mini version. I'm excited to try that out. And then in this little NARS baggie, which I think is so cute, like just, uh In here, there are a few items. First is the um, baby version of the Orgasm Illuminator. Super, super cute, good for travel. And then it came with the South Beach Multiple. This one is the one in the stick version. Little baby multiple here. Ooh, that's pretty. So that's what a swatch of that multiple looks like. I was kind of interested to see what it looks like. Um, it's called South Beach. I think it'd be pretty as like a highlighter. That's all I got from NARS. Next, let's move on to the MAC items that I got. So for MAC, I pretty much just got basics because I just needed to restock on a couple things and I just needed basics. The first thing I got is a brush cleaner. And this specific one is excellent because you can use it both dry and wet with your brushes. You can use it as a shampoo at the sink or use it dry just like a, with a paper towel and just clean your brushes and they're ready to go in like five minutes. So that's why I love that brush cleaner. In addition to that, I also got a few brushes. Just basic, basic MAC brushes. The first one I got is a 224. And that's what it looks like. It's just an excellent blending brush. And I got the 227, which I call my stamp brush because it literally just stamps the product right onto your face. I got the famous, famous 217. 
great, very versatile brush because you can pack on your color and blend your color with this guy. And then I got a lip brush, which is the 318. This one is super cool because you could just go like boop, boop, boop. Great for the purse because it's retractable, it's super compact and tiny. I don't think I have any like decent lip brushes, so I kind of needed one. Also for MAC, I got a few cheek products. The first one I got is the Mineralized Blush in Love Joy. Beautiful, like bronzy, plummy tone. This is actually the blush I'm wearing today. And I got the Blush in Blunt, which I'm going to actually use for contouring because it's like a sort of like a dirty brownie color. That's what that looks like. Great contour color for my skin tone. I got the cream color base in Hush, which is just a really pretty highlighter. I'm actually wearing it today. Love this. Works on tons of skin tones. Great texture as well. I don't really use this as like a base or anything. It's just really a pretty highlighter. And that's what that looks like. Next, I got just a new pot of the Black Track Fluid Line. This is just a gel eyeliner that I love using for my winged eyeliner. This stuff is very comparable to the Maybelline one, though I'm not going to say that you need to get the MAC one or the expensive gel liners because, to be honest, the Maybelline, the L'Oreal, and the Wet n Wild are excellent. And if you guys want me to do a whole video about gel liners because it's kind of like my thing, I would love to do that for you guys. Lastly, from MAC, I got the Prep and Prime Highlighter in Bright Forecast. And this is very similar to the YSL one, the all those highlighting pens you see on the market. Peachy color that I'll use mixed with my under eye concealer to just brighten up the area. As you can see, it's just kind of like a little wand applicator. You twist out the bottom and then you just apply it either directly to your face or I'll put it on my hand to mix. I'm excited to try this. Ooh, hello sunshine! The sun has decided to come out for the end of this video. So the last little group of stuff I got is just um, random stuff. From Target the other day I picked up a new pair of Wispies. These are my favorite lashes. They're actually the ones I'm wearing right now. They look the most natural on my eyes. They work really well with my eye shape. They're just really like a crisscrossy sort of design so they don't look too perfect. Then I actually, I made an order with the um, Nigel's Beauty Emporium, which is just like a shop in, I believe it's in Hollywood. And they sell like makeup artist supplies, um, I think they sell like sugar pill, and just like more professional lines. Um, so from Nigel's, I ordered the Beauty Blender. I have yet to actually try the original Beauty Blender. I have a knockoff version of this. I'm really, really excited to try the real original version. So many amazing things about it. And lastly, the probably my biggest purchase from this haul and what I'm actually most excited about. I've been in need and on the hunt for a new train case um, for a very, very long time. The ones I currently own, um, you roll on the ground and it makes like a lot of noise. I have one that, you know, goes over the shoulder, but um, it's not really the most convenient. So I'm really excited that I ordered this train case from Nigel's Beauty Emporium. Or I think it's just nigelsbeauty.com. And actually this specific train case is by mondastudio.com. I'll be sure to put the links and everything as to where you can purchase this and all the info. But here's what it looks like. It's really a perfect, perfect size to just carry like this or you can attach a strap to it. Love the color, very, very professional looking. I'll show you guys the inside. Here's the inside of the train case. You can see here that you get three tiers of storage here. Here's just some information about the train case. And then in the bottom here, they have um, little dividers that you can actually move around based on which products you have in the bottom there. It's a pretty deep bottom. This comes with a little strap, so you can attach that to the outside here if you wanted to put it on your shoulder. Comes with a little I'm just super, super excited about this train case. It's going to make freelancing gigs so much easier. So yeah, that is all the stuff I got in this haul. As I said, this was not purchased in one shopping trip. 
multiple shopping trips. If you guys have any questions about any of the products or if you want a review or a more in-depth like description of everything, please let me know. I will be listing all the products and where you can purchase them in the description box down below, so be sure to check that. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my haul. There will definitely be more in the future because I have a bit of a shopping problem. But you know, that's, that's what we're here for. Okay guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!